Hi everyone, I'm Trish and welcome to my women's online Bible study. Today we are covering Matthew chapter 13 verses 31 through 58. So let's say a short prayer and dive right in. Heavenly Father, please give me clarity to speak and the hearer the ear to hear. Please impart on us uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of all your ways so that we may walk upright before you and help us to share your word with others in truth and in clarity. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So um, grab your Bibles or if you're reading along in an app, please turn to Genesis chapter 13. And we will begin with verse 31 and read through the entirety of the chapter in and at 58. So he put, I'm, did I say the English Standard Version? If I didn't, I'm reading from the English Standard Version, sorry. He put another, starting from 31, he put another parable before them saying, the kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed that a man took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all seeds. But when it has grown, it is larger than all the garden plants and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like leaven that a woman took and hid in three measures of flour till it was all leaven. All these things Jesus said to the crowds in parables. Indeed, he said nothing to them without a parable. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter what has been hidden since the foundation of the world. Then he left the crowds and went into the house and his disciples came to him saying, explain to us the parable of the weeds of the field. He answered, the one who sows the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world and the good seed is the, son, the sons of the kingdom. The weeds are the sons of the evil one and the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. Just as the weeds are gathered and burned with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all lawbreakers, and throw them into the fiery furnace. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. He who has ears, let him hear. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden, of, hidden, hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then in, his jo then in his joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls, who, off, who on finding one pearl of great value, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was thrown into the sea and gathered fish of every kind. When it was full, men drew it ashore and sat down and sorted the good into containers, but threw away the bad. So it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come out and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace. In that place, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Have you understood all these things they said to him? Yes. And he said to them, therefore, Every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like a master of a house who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. And when Jesus had finished these parables, he went away from there. And coming to his hometown, he taught them in their synagogue so that they were astonished and said, Where did this man get this wisdom and these mighty works? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And are not his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? And are not all his sisters with us? Where then did this man get all these things? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his hometown and in his own household. And he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief. Heavenly Father, bless the reading of your word and let it fill us until we can eat of it again. If you're just here for the scripture read through, thank you for reading through scripture with me. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you again next time. And if you're here for a more in-depth study, stick around and we'll dive right in. So um, verses 31 through 35. So Jesus um, is given another parable. It's the parable of the mustard, seeds, the mustard seed. Jesus does say here that it is the smallest of all the seeds. So there are like three groups of seeds of small, smaller, and smallest. And the mustard seed is within that group. Um, 
It's just speaking how Paul really just using uh, the smallest seed, but he's just saying it, saying it as an example of what a such a small tiny seed would do and grow out into this um, this huge tree, and it's used for shade or the, the he actually says the birds of the nest come um, and rest in it. But uh, what that's that's this uh, description of what the kingdom of heaven is like, and we don't we don't tend to think that this is what uh, the kingdom of heaven would be like. Um, it's it's more than what we would ever. It's, something so small could turn into something so huge. So it's more than what we could ever imagine. Then moving on to uh, so moving on to the next parable that Jesus tells. It is. Um, again ascribe to what the kingdom of heaven would be like and it's saying that uh it's like making bread but the kingdom of heaven part is is taken in the word it, that it was hid that the uh, a woman took she hid in three measures of flour until it was all leavened so um, what is hidden will be revealed in uh, heaven and then he describes that he speaks in parables to the crowd in verses 34 through 35 that he he's not saying anything to them except by a parable 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 <laughs> a parable and that is um to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet and the prophet that he's speaking of is asaph um and um, you can find that in psalm they quote uh, I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter what has been hidden since the foundation of the word. That is located in Psalm, Psalm 78, verse 2. And uh, the beginning of this psalm is, says that it is a mascal, and mascal is just means insight. So that psalm is just giving you insight into something. Um, moving on to 36 through 34, I actually explain, this is a parable of the weeds. So the parable of the weeds was actually told in verses 24 through 30. And then the explanation is 36 through uh, 43. And I actually explained that, explained that in the last um, message, Matthew 13, 1 through 30. So I won't um, repeat it here again because I, I just think that those should be taken together. So if you can, just kind of um, go through 13, 1 through 30 again if you didn't. Uh, last time or last whenever the last time you studied with me so i don't know what days people will actually um study on and so let's drop down to verses 44 through 58 uh, throughout the entirety of the uh chapter he's 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 telling three more parables um two of them are uh, likened to the kingdom of heaven and the third is a, a warning so again we have um the parable of the hidden treasure is it's like you this is what he's explaining so if you want to know what the kingdom of heaven is like jesus is saying that it's greater it's the joy of what you'll get there is greater than anything you could ever imagine anything that you have any possessions that you have or want on this earth it's like the kingdom of heaven is like finding some hidden treasure and you're selling everything that you had just to for this hidden treasure that's how good it's going to be in heaven um and i'm excited about that <laughs> um and then another example is the uh the pearl of great value where he finds this pearl and he sells everything that he has so that he can obtain it and then the third parable is um uh, is a, a fisherman fishing and grabbing together all of the this heavy bag of fish and uh, sea creatures or animals or and he draws it in to shore and um, when they draw it in they're separating he's separating the um, an angel will come and separate the good from the bad and that's just a uh, symbolic for the church so there are good people who actually believe in the word of the Lord. They go to church and then there are people who are just there for, I have no idea why they're there. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they just like, um, some people like to be a part of something or to seem like they're good, but they don't really believe. And so maybe that's why they're there. I don't know. Uh, some people are really just there to make other people lives. You know, misery loves company. I don't know, but there is a warning of where they, those people will be 
um, and it is hell uh, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then uh, he makes sure that they understand what he's saying, his disciples, and uh, he's uh, saying that everyone who is trained up in scripture should share it with other people. So it, we are all disciples. It is our job to share the good news with others so that they may find out the good benefits of the kingdom of heaven because this life is, you just, you're, you're only young for a certain amount of time before you're old and everything is aching and, and then you die. And so um, there's no fulfillment in that. Eternal life is life with Christ or life without, with the absence of, uh, of the Lord. Um, and then we uh, ends uh, the chapter with Jesus at 53. After he finished his parables, he went away to his hometown. So this is not Cape, uh, Capernaum where Jesus actually lives. He's, he's going back to Nazareth where he was born and grew up. And when he tries to uh, give the message there, they're rejecting him. They're like, is this not the carpenter's son? We know his mother, his brothers and sisters, they name him. That's another, that's the scripture I was alluding to um, where Catholicism says that Mary is like this holy person who didn't have any other kids, but that is not true. Um, these are her other kids. They are listed here. She has other sons and daughters. Um, and um, back, back on topic, that they they they're just looking at him like um i i know that i can relate to this because when i first got saved or when i was working walking with the lord and i try to talk to people people remember the old uh, latricia they remember who i was and they are constantly trying to get me to be that person again but it's not exactly like jesus because they're not constantly trying to get him to be another person they just won't accept that he is the son of god you know they're saying that uh, who is who is he to come and teach us the scripture um, when we saw him grow up here so jesus is saying hey a prophet is not without honor honor in his own hometown and he didn't do many works there because of their unbelief so it, it is attributed to it he always uses great faith and and the faith that we have in him um we it is something that we believe by faith we we have faith that the lord existed and that um well it's historical evidence actually that the lord existed um but but my faith is that he was the son of god and that he died for uh, my sins and he rose again on the third day so that and he didn't come back from that um once he once he rose again he ascended into heaven and once they uh, like peter after peter um uh, after the Lord passes away, he goes back to be a fisherman. And the Lord, you know, calls him after he sees the Lord ascend into heaven. Peter's mission now is to build a church. The Lord didn't want him to be a fisherman in, anymore. He wanted him to be fisher of men. And after they saw that, hey, this man can come back from the dead. He can bring me back. He, all his words are true. They all died. Most of them died horrific deaths, actually. Uh, Peter was crucified upside down. Um because they wanted the the truth of the lord to be out there and to for everyone to have it and to read it and uh there are so many church leaders of history who were burned or shot or murdered or martyred to get us this truth that we have before us today so it is our our duty to share the gospel and this good news with other people so that they may um take part into and all of these riches of heaven that are greater than anything that is here on this earth we tend to think uh our greatest goals or or the monetary or just things that we can have here on earth are great but heaven is so much greater and so he didn't do uh many works he doesn't need them to believe in him he just didn't do it because they they simply didn't believe and that is how chapter 13 ends so um with that i want to say thank you for going through scripture with me i really appreciate it and i hope to see you again next time may the lord bless you and keep you may he make his face to shine upon you and bring you peace both now and forevermore bye